Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It is the man in the can. It is Super Piggy Man here today with another video. And today we're going to be talking more about Kenji and another top five mods. So let's get right into the list. Taking the number five spot, we got the Shop Enhance Economy. Now, this is set so, in a way, where if you guys want to, you know, use like, okay, so it's set up in a way if you want to run an inn, you can run an inn. So it fixes the shop counter problem. And it also fixes a lot of the bugs with the shop counter with people not buying anything. But it only works with foods, so that's the only put down to it. But the old, also the other aspect it adds is the RPG element of you walking into, let's say, a bar. And then you see the Empire Peasants, they buy stuff. Tech Hunters, they buy stuff. Every NPC, when they go into the bar, they buy something, right? And then you see them buy, 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 and then... They say, oh, I can't afford that. I'm broke. <laughs> so they buy until they're broke, pretty much. And that is a really cool and interesting mod. That's pretty much all there is to it. There isn't really that much to it other than that. But let's get into the second mod of this, which is... No, it's the fourth mod, which is Training Swords. Training Swords is a good way to train your guys up to use weapons. Now, it is... Personally, I've never used it. I've I have the mod installed, but I've never made you know training stuff because when I got the mod, my guys were already all trained up. So you know, <laughs> I had to do it the hard way. No, I'm just playing. But it is a um, it is a cool thing because it, it does all blunt damage, so it doesn't do any cutting damage or anything like that. But it also trains your guys in how to use weapons and all that stuff. And it is a really cool aspect that it adds to the game where you can train your troops without having to kill anybody because nobody wants to kill anybody. Let's let's uh make that a fact here. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But it's uh, it's a cool thing, and I they don't really take that much resources to build either. When you go into your armor smith or not armor smith, your blacksmith, they don't take that much resources to make. It's really one of the mods that don't require a lot of resources, which is pretty cool and pretty easily easily accessible to everybody that wants to try it out. But for the number three spot, we got Let's Talk. That is the name of the mod. Now this mod is uh pretty cool and unique. Um, to add more RPG sense and all that stuff, you know, in original Kenshi, when, like, you know, vanilla Kenshi, when you walk into a bar, what do you see? You don't really hear anybody talking, which is kind of weird because, you know, it's a bar, so people should be talking, right? And then, you know, they don't really talk that much, they don't interact that much, so you want it to bring Kenshi more lively, you want to add more RPG to the aspect. So now, with this mod, you can't, because now you, they added this, they input... They put this into put this into practice, adding a more RPG sense into the game. Now, honestly, it's I honestly like it because I don't like walking into a bar and then just seeing everybody sitting in there. It's kind of kind of intimidating, man. It's not really that cool. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. It is a really cool mod. It adds more RPG to the sense, um, and that's just I don't know. It's just like something if you want to be want it to be more role play and stuff like that. It's a really cool mod. So now for our number two spot, we got recruitable prisoners. Now recruitable prisoners is something really cool because when you imprison someone, you can't really, you know, um, can't really recruit them. You just imprison them. You hold them there. You know, some people in prison and then, you know, let them go and then train up their guys that way, like in some isolated area. But a lot of people like me don't do that. So anyways when you imprison someone now you can talk to them now there's a whole entire difficulty set you know the lower toughness and lower skill set they are the easier it is to pick them up but the more skill set they have and like you know a lot more like advance or end game mid game okay so early game easy right it's easy you know you can recruit them on because they wouldn't really argue they find it better to be with you guys anyways mid game they still have some you know in-betweens and then late game that that's really hard you know you just have to keep trying and trying until like the probabilities roll in your favor type of thing now recruitable prisoners is personally one of my favorite mods because it i've used it plenty of times but i've also not used it i've made slaves <laughs> which is not as good but i mean it's i think it's part of the recruitable prisoners unless it's part of a different mod that i use compatible with that one but anyways let's move into the number one spot now I know a lot of people here like to watch my lore stuff, and a lot of people usually watch my channel for the lore stuff. Now, when I talk about this though, this is going to really blow your hats off. So somebody in 
the Kenshi Discord that I'm in, really uh, decided, like, hey, you know, I'm going to make this mod that's pretty cool. You know, we could we could revive the Second Empire in a sense. So it's probably in, like, out in the early versions. And we got our hands on it kind of first because, you know, we're in, in the Discord. But there's a lot of people in the Discord. So, you know, it's not just, like, you know, it's a selected group of people. It's, like, a lot of people. And it is, honestly, I haven't tried it, but I've looked at the reviews. I've looked at how people tried it. And I also looked at everything that you can do, and honestly, it is pretty fucking impressive. Excuse my language, but it's so good. Just think about everything you can do. You There's conquerable cities right now that you can conquer, or conquerable areas for the Red Legion. And then, there are also areas that are going to be added in the next update. So this, you know, creator, shouts out to him, he's, uh, he's doing really good in, you know, making all this stuff. And, you know, making it all, making it more lore I guess. But this is not lore, you know, because you can't really do it. But anyways, I hope you guys really did enjoy. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And also, um, PS, I, or PS thing to say is in the last, my last, uh, top five mods video, people didn't really like the aspect of, you know, adding more money to the shops. But, you know, it depends who you are and how that helps you. I mean... Some people call it farming, some people call it cheating. I mean, mods are used to help everybody, so, you know. Hope, hopefully you guys do like these set of mods better than the last ones that I showed you guys. Anyways, peace!